who will be the next president of the United States. This is a thought running through the minds of millions of Americans right now who are simply clueless about what has been going on behind the scenes. Because 2024 will mark the beginning of a new era in elections and as November 5th gradually approaches, Americans are getting ready to vote. But like many other elections this year, AI has been playing a big part in it all along. For instance, there have been cases of bad actors using AI to manipulate the general public. Even in some countries, dead politicians have been brought back to life thanks to AI. Trust me, elections will never remain the same again and by the end of this video, you know why. But for now, let's get really serious here. John is an American citizen by birth, a registered voter in the United States and also a strong supporter of the Biden administration. In January 2024, he had planned to vote in the primary election to support his preferred candidate, but then he got a call from President Joe Biden. It's important that you save your vote for the November election. Voting this Tuesday only enables the Republicans in their quest to elect Donald Trump again. Your vote makes a difference in November, not this Tuesday. Clearly, that sounded like Biden, so he decided not to vote at all. He later got to know that that recording was actually fake after the election was over. The recording had been created using AI by a man identified as Steve Kramer and in France was a deep fake. According to Wikipedia, deep fake are synthetic media that have been digitally manipulated to replace one person's likeness convincingly with that of another. This could include images, videos or audio of a person appearing to do something he never did or say something he never said. And thanks to that deep fake, John chose not to vote. But not to him, over 20,000 new Hemisphere residents were affected according to CNN, so they filed a lawsuit against Steve. There have been a lot of deepfakes scattered all around social media after them. You might even have come across one yourself. And all this is thanks to generative AI, which is a branch of artificial intelligence that include things like text-to-speech, text-to-image, and even text-to-video. And they are very, very convincing. You won't even know they are fake. Many Americans have reportedly fallen victim of AI deepfake related scams and have been duped into sending money to hackers. These guys as loved ones. Soon, scammers will be able to react instantly to anything you say by converting their voice into the voice of your loved one in real time. A picture of Donald Trump posing with black voters. A picture of Donald Trump getting arrested. Joe Biden shaking hands with the Russian president. Secret service agents smiling after the attempt assassination of Donald Trump. And even AI generated video of former President Barack Obama. This is really scary because manipulation of photos or videos itself is not new. People could easily do that before now using tools like Photoshop. But now, AI has made it easier, cheaper, and quicker to create high quality deepfake to spread misinformation. And that is a big problem. For example, in 2015, there was an article on Facebook claiming that Pope endorsed Trump that was widely shared. With AI, bad actors can now make an actual video of the Pope endorsing Trump. But in this case, just anybody with a computer and an internet access anywhere around the world can create and spread deepfake to alter the US election. And to prove that, I tried creating one myself. This picture is fake. The Department of Homeland Security has warned that China, Russia, and Iran are likely to use generative AI to target US 2024 election. Although interference from other countries is not new, like in 2016, when the Russian government employed dozens of hackers to conduct information warfare against US officials involved in the presidential election, they were able to steal identities of US citizens, rent server based in the US, and using a VPN, all while posting targeted propaganda on social media. They hacked into computers, stealing documents from it, and publicly release those stolen documents to interfere in the 2016 US presidential election. But today, with the help of AI, similar efforts are one on a large scale. We have far more impact and even cost less than the millions of dollars that was spent in 2016. And that's why China has decided to embrace it. Because recently, Microsoft have publicly accused China of using generative AI to sow seed of division among American voters. But the question becomes, how do you know what is real? It's It's worth saying that some of these deepfakes are very very realistic and hard to identify. Tech companies like Meta have started labeling their AI generated images, but these labels could easily be removed or cropped out. So these are some tips on how you can identify a deepfake. Check the source. This is a rather boring way, but it's really important because most times fake news or in this case deepfake is likely to spread from an unrecognized account because bad actors would want to remain anonymous so they don't get to face the wrath of the law. 
advanced use AI detection software. You could use AI detector software like TrueMedia.org to spot the fake. But know that this system are still in their beta stage and not fully developed yet. So sometimes it could be wrong with its predictions. So don't be fooled.